Well, we've come down to the in-store workshop to take a look at this vehicle that's just been finished today. It's a vehicle for one of our local airport fire services, one of the incident command vehicles. And as you can see, we fitted a variety of lighting on it. The vehicle itself is about nine years old. Um, it's not done many miles because all it does is work at the airport, doesn't really go off-site very much. Um, but we've been asked to upgrade the lighting on it and uh, upgrade part of the control system as well. We've also taken the message board that was in the old light bar and we've put that in the back window and we'll show you that a bit later on in the video. So on the top there you can see the Mega Flash FX light bar in blue. Um, that's been set up with a flash pattern as it is there. That can be changed by the customer if they want to. And then on top you can see the yellow tornado beacon here in the UK. We use quite a slow flash uh, for the airports. That will automatically switch on whenever the vehicle's started or when the ignition key's put in. Because while the vehicle is on the airfield, that's got to be lit all of the time. It's also got an automatic dim function built into it so that beacon goes dim at night. And that's part of the control system the top 112 control system from IdeaTech that we'll take a look at in a little while. So that's the light bar, we've got the grill lights on the front, headlight flasher um, and a speaker under the bonnet which is for the siren system which is integrated into the top 112. There's also a PA system built into that as well and I'll show you that in just a minute. Well now we're sat inside the vehicle, um, you can take a look at the IdeaTech control system that we've fitted. This is the top 112 system and you've got a keypad here, this can be taken off and used as a PA system. So you can see if I find the vehicle keys, but when we switch the vehicle on uh, all the radio equipment that was inside already that's all switched on but also you can see that the airport beacon has come on automatically that's because the system knows that we're now in the vehicle and the ignition's on. So now we can select just the beacons, uh, the light bar on the roof if we wish. That will automatically bring the grill lights on, we can switch that off. That's automatically going to sense when the ignition is on and the engine is running, that will switch the headlight flasher on as well. The driver's also got the option to cancel that if, for instance, they're driving in fog on the airfield, they don't want to blind themselves um, with the flashback off the grill lights, they can just simply switch that off. So we press there is the 999 respond mode. That's brought the full light bar on. Those two switches control the inner and the out bar li outer light bar. Um, the airport beacon is on anyway because that needs to be on. The grill lights have come on and the spotlights are now flashing as well. So the siren's also active uh, so we can control that off the road horn. If I now go and open the door, the system has now changed over to arrive scene mode and the lighting has changed slightly. It's switched off the flashing spotlights, it's switched off the flashing headlights and it's also disabled the siren but the PA system still works. So now we can switch off and everything is back to normal. The airport beacon stays on of course uh, and we can also go back into the respond mode again. So that's a quick look at the top 112 system from IdeaTech. Uh, it's completely programmable, we can do all the programming for you on that um, if that's what you wish. The programming software is available to buy as well, um, but it's a fairly, it's a simple system to program, it's a simple system to use, it allows massive flexibility, all the buttons can do anything that you want. It's got eight outputs on there, um, it's got a couple of negatives that we've used to drive various other functions on the vehicle as well. So one other thing that I'll show you, um, this has got an automatic day and night sensor on it, so when I cover this over like so, you'll see that the backlight eventually comes on, uh, the lighting dims down, and that's dimmed down the lights, the airport light on the top automatically dims at night uh, using that as its, as its trigger. So it's quite a, a lot of features on this vehicle. Um, it seems like a simple vehicle, but there's quite a lot of intelligence in here. So now we'll take a look at what's fitted on the back of the vehicle and we'll also show you some of the pictures from the installation of the top 112 control system uh, including the siren which is fitted underneath the seat. So as you can see this is the message board which is in the back of the vehicle. Now you can see it showing all the different messages there. The reason that you can't see the message properly uh, is because the refresh rate of the camera and the refresh rate of the message board itself um, are causing that to appear on the camera like that but normally when you stand behind the vehicle you see it properly. Um, we've taken that out of the old light bar that was on there, mounted it in a custom built metal case uh, that's powder coated black that we've had made and that's mounted on one of the BA mounts 
um, and that's controlled from uh, a rotary controller in the front. So here's a quick look at the front of the light bar on the vehicle. You can see the inners and the outers um, have got a slightly different flash pattern. That's just how we configured it. You can switch the inner blues off as well. You can also dim them from the control panel. Um, and then we'll take a quick look at the back. It's not quite as populated as the front of the light bar is, but that's okay because the main point of this vehicle is to get to scene. Uh, it's not necessary to fend off. And now we're back at the front of the vehicle. You can see the tornado beacon flashing away there. Um, now it's gone into 999 mode. Here you can see everything's on. Um, the tornado beacon's off, and that's the spotlights on by themselves. They can either flash in 999 mode or be switched on individually for nighttime use. There's the outside of the bar lit up again, and you can see all the Mega Flash BX31s on the grill and on the fend off position on the bumpers as well, flashing away. Um, and there the vehicle's back off again. Now here's the inside of the vehicle, you can see the Tetra radio head at the bottom, that's for West Yorkshire Fire and Rescue's radio. Um, you've got there the power module for the Top 112, you've got two radio handsets there, the analog radio for the air traffic control and the airport fire service, uh, that's their internal radio, message board controller and the new edition which is the Top 112 handset. And here's a look at the power module, um, that's the Top 112 power module, it's not very big at all, uh, it's got the integrated siren amp. It's got all the power outputs on there, it's got CAN, and that's quite a small unit that fits under the seat. Here's a quick look at the control head um, that you can take off as you saw before, can close up of all the buttons, um, some of them are lit up because they're on in the photograph. You'll see the moon uh, button which we never explained before, that's, um, that one's controlling the dim mode on the light bar and the grill lights. So there we have it, the completed vehicle for Leeds Bradford International Airport. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video and we hope to do some more on the same kind of thing uh, in the near future.